We've got Liam Ugrin. He uh, fell just short of what's the opposite of relegation? Like what, what happens when you're brought up? Promotion. Promotion. Sure. We'll go with that. That's what, that's what it is. Oh, okay. They did not get promoted. Promotion was not had. And he's found a new team. Mm-hmm. What can you tell everyone about said new team that's in the SHL? What we can expect with his line mates, how things might change his development, good or bad? Go. Yeah, I mean, I don't, as far as like line mates and stuff, I don't, couldn't tell you, but um, he's going to fire Stad, and this is a team not, so he's going back to the SHL, which is a good thing, which is great. Um, he's going to play against, he's going to play in the best league in Sweden, the number one team in Sweden, one of the best, probably top. I'd say it's a top three league of the world. I think it's right there with the KHL. A lot of nights there, especially now with what's going on, it's probably, a lot of teams are probably better than a lot of the KHL teams, but um, either way, it's great that he's be back in that or going to be in the SHL, not even back in the SHL, but he will be in the SHL because um, you want him going up against top talent. And again, this year was his first pro, full year of pro hockey, and he only got better as the year went on. Um, so I, well, I don't necessarily think like staying in the all Svenskin would have been some like him taking a step backwards per se, or really at all. Just the fact that now he is going to be back up against the best players in that country is good because we saw what he could do at the, at the all Svenskan level when he's healthy because at the start of the year, he was not healthy. He wasn't playing a ton. He wasn't producing anything. And then once he did get healthy, he just took off and was top five points, goals, assists, whatever for them. Um, so now he's going to far side. He was a good team in the SHL too. I think they were third in that league ended up getting um, upset by Ferlunda, who's another team that's very good uh in the shl um but fire said they've got a couple guys that are um you know nhl prospects they've got breakfast in the back end who's a coyotes prospect he's pretty good they got yol nystrom who i think is actually kind of a stud another one of carolina's fucking sneaky good picks um and they have this four cell kid who i think vancouver drafted last year maybe the year before okay. no it was the year before Maybe, maybe to help for people, I mean, like myself, admittedly, not super in tune with everything in the SHL, like things go slightly differently. He goes up and he's in the same league with his team from last year. What happens? Like, how different is it jumping in with a team that's already been up there and established? Does his role change? Does he get buried further down the lineup? Does he have to change the way he plays or is it kind of copy paste and it's just a new group and he's playing against better competition more regularly. Oh no, it's just, he's just with a new group playing with better or play against better competition. Like he was a, like he had his choice of a few teams to go to that. Like, so he's a legit highly coveted player in Sweden. Like it's, it's kind of funny how it works over there. It's like kind of similar over here than it is over here. But like, we don't have the relegation promotion system. So it's, it's funny if, for anyone that might watch like English premier league soccer, it's the same thing where like teams with players who are very good that end up getting relegated to that second division, the best players on that team, like every other premier league team, like comes and like bids for them or whatever. So he had his pick of the litter. Like he had like five teams. He was weighing uh, where he wanted to go and he landed on, on fire stats. So he'll be in their top six. Um, Otherwise, they wouldn't have even bothered to to try to sure you know, get him to any, get a side with other. Any of his teammates that landed on the same squad? <clears throat> no, people are wondering if uh, he would go with like Oslin somewhere or Noah Oslin, whatever. Um, but at this point, Oslin's. I don't even know where he's going next year. Actually, now I think about it. All right. I don't All remember right. if he went anywhere. But um, no, so I, this one is just him on that team, but he's going to be in their top six. He'll like, cause I know perusing through when the, that rumor first started coming out, that it was going to be far. You stop. I just kind of like started going through like that fan base is like Twitter or whatever. They were like, Holy shit. We can get Ugrin. So it's like, they're very excited to have him. And again, he had his pick of teams. Um, so I'm, 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 I'd imagine that he looked at the teams like I can fit in that top six. They're a good team. 
Um, but the bottom line is it's just great that he's playing in the SHL because realistically, you know, the all Svenskan, it's a pro league, but it's not exactly the best of the best that he's playing against. Right. So, you know, going from there and then stepping over to North America, whether it's Iowa, whether it's the SA or NHL, it's a big fucking step, but it's not that close. So I think this will just be kind of that good next step. Um, and really like one of the closer leagues that's similar to the NHL or AHL, whatever. So, um, I mean, realistically, it's only good. So good for him. And it's, it's, it's just exciting that he's going to be in the SHL this year.